ready? Yeah. Okay. Call this meeting of the Historic District Commission to order. Um, you all have copies of the minutes. Uh, any changes, notes? Do you want to do roll call first? Oh, we should do roll call. Yes, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter Davidson is here. Dominic, are you here? I'm here. Uh, Wayne, are you here? I'm here. John, are you here? I'm here. And Andrew Munzee is absent. So, and Julie, are you here? I'm here. She's here. Everybody's here. That's great. I don't know what she's doing. Uh, okay. Does anybody have any changes for the minutes? No, I make a motion to approve the minutes as written from the September 27th, 2023 meeting. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Minutes are accepted. All right. Is this the only business we have today? It is. All right. We have a, a we have Kim and Mike Chanko. Oh, right. Thank you. I'm um, here to uh, replace three doors, one window, and add three additional windows. An application for doing that. Map U06, slot 49. Who's going to be speaking, presenting it to us? I'll start and she'll probably be my like support. That's fine. <laughs> That's okay. I would hope so. All right. We're kind of a package deal. <laughs> All right. The floor is yours. Tell us what you're doing. Okay. Um, so the subject property is 41 main. Mm -hmm. And which is a mixed use occupancy on the first floor is um, kiddo therapy, which is Kim's business. Oh, and for um, pediatric OT and PT services. We've got what? 10 yeah. employees, 9, 10 employees. Wow. Um, and part of the project um, and the reason we're here is she needs more treatment space. So, more part of the project, well, it's all about the business, but. Part of the project, at least on the barn side, is to build out a new space um, for a treatment room, um, which is 10 by 20 approximately, which um, in the barn area of um, the building. Mm -hmm. um, and we took a photograph and, and uh, added in electronically the door and the four windows. Uh, and the door actually um, is in the location where there exists a door already. Um, it's been boarded up for several years, but it's clearly a cutout um, in the siding as well as um, the uh, framing on the inside of the barn. The windows um, currently, so we've got the picture um of that elevation there's one there's one window um <clears throat> kind of in the far right panel um that is kind of awkwardly placed there i guess um and so we debated um she doesn't she's not building out behind that area it's just the first two arched areas that she's going to have for her treatment space but we felt that um fixing that sort of odd window that's hanging out there and matching it to the uh, proposed windows in the center panel um, would be more attractive and symmetrical so uh, and aesthetically we think um it's an improvement um, to that the side of the building if we do all four windows at the same time. That's the first half. Well, I thought we could pause uh -huh. there if there are questions. Yeah, we, we want to ask questions or you want the whole thing? Um, we can do the whole thing and then I can maybe go back and ask questions. Yes. Okay. I want to. Um, so on the the north side of the building, 
um, which is the entrance entrances um, for pedestrian access. Um, the north face these these two um, pages. Um, the door to the right is aptly um, labeled. That's the entrance for the business. The door to the left um, accesses a hallway and a set of stairs that um, lead to um, the two apartments. Um, one's on the second floor and, and in the apartment on the third floor. Uh, so what we're proposing here um, is the, the kiddo therapy door entrance is currently a 34 inch wide door. Um, and some of her patients, and the reason we have the, the wheelchair ramp is some of the patients um, are, are in wheelchairs, and we'd like to widen that door um, to at least um, approach an ADA acceptable um, width. Um, so when that's open, um, it's a little easier to get a wheelchair in, less have to bang finger knuckles um, yeah. for the for the patient that's in the chair. And then the door, neither, there's no issues with the door and that's a little narrow. The other one that's on the left um, is that accesses the um, apartments is a, is happens to be a 3 0 door. Um, but we were thinking that would make sense. Um, aesthetically, if we um, change both doors to match. Um, and there, or the door that we're proposing, the whole doors that we're proposing would enable this product cut. Okay. Which is a number two product. These are the two areas. Um, Yes, I did forget to mention on the on the windows, those do the windows that we're proposing are manufactured by Harvey um, and they are in a matchup to the windows that are in the, the building area most most proximate to um, that facade. And those are Harvey too. So it's basically the same product ten years. And same dimensions. Same dimension, same same manufacturer, um, same look, just probably a, a decade newer. Okay. That it? That's it. All right. Open it up for questions. So on the north side, those doors you want to add the you want to add the six panes of light. Yes, to them. Well, we want to replace the whole door. Right, replace the whole door, but but even thirty six inches, both thirty six inches, but also add a light to it. Correct. Okay. Yep. Um, on that, on the north side, I really have no real issues. I think that historically probably better without the light, but the clearly replacement doors. From the width and the fact that they're three right next to each other, the, and the fact that there are metal doors in there already, right? That if you feel that light's there, it's not going to be mimicking anything architectural or replacing a historical thing. And although it is slightly visible to the road, I think it's cut back enough that it really doesn't affect the overall thing. So in my opinion, we could discuss later as a group, but I don't have an issue at all with that. On the bond side, I don't, does that, I mean, I, ideally I would like to see a solid door there. I'm not against the light, but feeling you want light into your treatment room, and that's why you want that's a big right. light thing. I, I don't really feel the double hung windows fit the barn. I think it would look more traditional with a barn, a simple barn sash window. Meaning it's either a casement open if you need to open or awning open, but a solid 
that I don't mind replacement for the four windows. I think that's fine. And I'd like to see something more of a neat wood look. I and mean, maybe you can get it in a five glass uh, thing, but I, but I I think that even though you have casements in the house, this isn't the house, this is clearly the barn, and that's pretty visible. There are casements in the house. No, there are pretty much all all that's what I'm saying. Okay. Is the house is separate from what your barn So you're trying to, you're trying to keep the fact that this is historically yeah. in the barn and be able to see that historically in a barn you wouldn't have a double hung window like that. There's one right even here. though there already is, even though they put one, okay. and it looks to me like I mean, somebody just cut that in. I mean, is that a vinyl replacement window? Is that a wooden? It's vinyl, you know, so yeah, it's not pretty much somebody will cut that in at some point, yeah, in the future. I mean, I'll, I'll take other people's comments, but that would be, and I guess I'd be, I think I saw the door, but I'm, the door, I'm not against the light now, it's clearly a replacement door. It's not trying to mimic anything historical. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. And I'm fine with your placement, really. I think a really, if I made a suggestion, say a really simple trim, because that's just kind of board and bat in there, and really keep it, you know, if it, they come with, rather than use the brick molding, just put a simple square thin trim on it, try to match the battens. But if it was, if you could get, a barn sash set, and I don't know if that's something we can do or suggest, or what other people's opinions are. I don't know if you have your own questions. I was going to see if Dominic had any from way, way, away in Alaska. Hi there. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Um, yeah, I agree with John in that uh, I did have a concern. Uh, over the windows um, and the door. The windows, I do like the placement, and I believe that, you know, that makes sense, having it symmetrical, matching, you know, make each arch match. So uh, commend you on that. Um, but, yeah, I agree that it, it, it appears the combination of the windows and the door, especially the door kind of stood out to me um, as seeming a little too modern and not necessarily in keeping with the barn. Uh, but I do, again... Uh, just as John said, sensitive to, you know, it's being a, a smaller space and trying to keep light in there. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess I would have liked to see a, a slightly better style um, for the doorway in particular. And then a question on the size of the windows. Uh, are they the same size as what's already installed on the house, the six over sixes? Yes, they are. But you see this, um, the adjacent, the kind of perpendicular there, we matched the sizes of those windows. So they were all, um, it was like one continuous theme. I see that. Yeah. Um, and I do appreciate that. But I, again, uh, similar concerns to what John was uh, voicing there about um, while it is consistent with what's already on the house, I'm not sure if it matches the style of the barn um as a separate structure in a you know historical or you know more older structure um did you look at any any other options that would that you know met your needs that would kind of have that an older style to match more of a barn yeah i'm not sure exactly what that means but i do understand um, john suggested a casement we could certainly do a casement instead of the double hunt. Um, I, I would uh, I would go with the recommendation for uh, that, something more in keeping with the barn style. And if uh, the other members of the panel uh, would accept the door, then I would go with them. Thanks. Wayne? It's fine to me. What's fine to you? The picture. Oh. All right. Any other questions for them? I don't. We can close it. Discuss them ourselves. Sometimes. We're going to close the question portion of our program and we're going to discuss where we stand at this particular moment. So you can have a say. Yep. Yep. Just have a seat.
Okay, so we have a question. Well, that's yeah. what I was going to say. I don't know how, you, how much you can see the door after right. you can see it all yeah. around this corner. We can see that far windows is pretty visible. Over here. The yeah, the last two days, the door that you're going to be able to see. Yeah. And maybe in the, right, in the winter from driving up the home in the corner, but if you're sitting yeah. on the traffic light, you can see pretty good. It's pretty prominent. Okay. Side back there. Okay. The north side is actually less so, even though you can't be able to see it. Yeah. It's probably right. I didn't envision it. So, I mean, my opinion is the widening of the doors on the north side, it's clearly just the business. Like, somebody wants to come back and change that. It's not very world. You can't really see it. It doesn't really affect. I mean, there's already two openings there mm -hmm. and another two inches on one and yeah. four on another is not going to really change it if they keep the same black thin style of sock um i have one, one or two and i don't know if you can ask them maybe but what the style is is either approve that north side and have another meeting where we look at a different um, casement window that they look out and or just say that the door is fine, but we would like non double hung. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve pane front sash style window, meaning a flat, not double hung windows. Oh, you mean non, non open? Well, if they open, it's going to be a casement like oh. this or an awning like this. Okay. Depending how the I mean, what could come I down, depending on how you think. But yeah. it doesn't have the to make it distinct from the house. To make it right. Usually, when you go by a barn, the windows in the barn are different mm. than the house, and to make it continue to look, and then just to stipulate that the stock be that the trim be plain, just because it's kind of a, the old barn plain there. Yeah, I mean, I think this area could use improvement. It definitely was a, it was something different. It was a build in at yeah. some point. It was a pass through care. Like, yeah, in the future, I could see somebody doing seeing an architect and coming back with a with an interesting proposal for that. But I don't, I don't mind it either way. I guess it's up to the rest of the group to how. Conditions. Yeah. Dominic, any other thoughts while you're there? Um, yeah, I have no issue with the north side, the, the door modifications uh, for ADA compliance for the business. I think that makes sense. And changing them both at the same time makes sense for consistency on the house, even though it's a, a craftsman style door and it's a federal slash Greek style home. Uh, I think it's far enough back and it wouldn't be uh, a detractor from the house. And uh, again, as John mentioned, I think those windows are probably the most uh, easily observable change to the elevation. Um, the door being in the corner is hidden. So even though it's not necessarily in keeping with the style, I don't think it would be too much of a detractor. Um, but I agree, maybe the window should change. And I'd be in favor of approving the work on the north side and then coming back again later to address the south side if um, if that's what the group would like to do. I'm hearing what you're saying, John and Dominic. The doors are all fine. Yes, I'm okay with the doors. Okay. All the doors, though. The all the way to the box. Yes, yeah. I mean, I think it would be, I don't. It's tough to see without knowing. I don't think it's going to be visible. I think historically it should be solid, but I don't think it's going to be visible. And yeah. I think because of the use inside is important, like letting light yeah. in its thing. And I think we probably can stipulate if they yeah. want to do it. Well, yeah, I was thinking that. It's Rather than the windows, windows, we just stipulated the windows. Yeah. Right. Have, yeah. And then have, do we have them running right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So would you like me to draft a motion to that? Mm -hmm. 
we can talk to them again, right? <laughs> Technically. And get their feedback on this scenario, which way they would like to go, saving time for everybody. Yeah. Do you understand the, the, the what what two options that we're looking at as far as motion? One would be approving the doors, having you come back to a different meeting for the windows, or having a, a complete motion that says the doors are all fine, but with the windows, we'd like you to come back in a style that John was describing and Dominic was describing, and having you get them, as long as you get them run by Julie, they would be okay. Is that, oh, you understand? So you are you more in favor of that? I'm just saying uh, the second option. Well, option two would yeah. be prefer it mostly for the time. Yeah, I don't get you and she needs the space. So that's right, I totally get that. Right. John, can you use your second magic, magic motion? You want to have your hope. I know this. Group discussion is closed at the moment. There's John writes. God, I, mean, I don't think I did making motions that were these. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Um, are we ready? You want me just to read this out slowly okay. so that we can try to get it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I make a motion that the Historical District Commission approves the certificate of appropriateness for 41 Main Street for three replacement doors and the addition of four windows as outlined in the application and as satisfied by. 225-18B1A and 225-18B1 and 225-18B2A of the Thompson zoning ones with the following condition. That the south side four windows to be non-double hung style, bond stash, bond sash, either casement or awning style, 12 pane divided lights. It's recorded, so I'm aware is that too much. Sound like it makes sense. I'm fine with the windows. Yeah. And the should you have in the part of the motion that after that have to be reviewed by Julie. I don't do we need that? Do we need that should I add that to the motion? Sure. sure. Yeah. To be the, reviewed by Thompson's town planner. Planning director. Yeah. Planning director. Yeah. And if I could add one thing and not make this too confusing. Those um that the trim just be basic flat thin stock to match mm -hmm. it. Is that the end of the motion? That's the end of the motion. Anybody you're seconding it, Dominic? All in favor say aye. I motion passed. You have your your certificate of appropriateness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. All right. So, anybody else have any business? Thank you guys for coming in. Thank you. I think that's it. Unless anybody has anything else, motion to adjourn.
You want to quick and easy? You gotta say it though, because uh, I'm gonna record. I make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. All in favor? Thank motion you, passed. Dominic. Meeting is adjourned. Thanks, Dominic. Thank you, Dominic. Enjoy Alaska. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. Bye.